Whoa, another 90 plus day in May. There is a strong relationship where if you do have a lot of hot days in May, that does tend to lead to hot days in summer. All right, numbers, Dr. Kenny Blumenfeld with the DNR Climatology Office. Okay, the Twin Cities averages 13 90 degree days a year. Going back to the 1870s, we've had multiple 90 degree days in May just 16% of the time. But when it's happened, historically, our average for the year has nearly doubled to 23 90 degree days a year. Yeah, about three quarters of the time, we end up with a really hot summer following a May that you would consider to be really hot. Ah, we're up to six 90 degree days in May, second most all time. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, April, that's right. It was the fourth coldest in state history and the snowiest ever. One extreme to the next, so, what does that mean for our summer? Yeah, I, I wish we had an easy answer. We don't really have any examples of going from cold then to hot uh, that dramatically. So there's really a lot, a lot of uncertainty that leaves climatologists sitting on the edges of their seats. Well, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna be a really hot summer? Same thing 30 years ago. In 1988, we had four 90 degree days in May, then set a record with 44 that year. That was a memorable one. And I can say, even though we try not to play favorites with the weather, you don't want that. Because that was, that was extreme heat, it was a drought. So history suggests a hot summer, but you know, we'll see. Corey Eppola, Care 11 News.